This video is how to make a half Persian style bracelet. Now I've showed in the previous videos how to make wire. I've already prepared the wire. So I'm using a 1.2 millimeter thick wire with a four millimeter rod. I've created a little hook at the end of the wire so it goes inside the hand drill along with the rod and we just turn. When you reach the end of your coil be sure to go backwards so the end of the wire doesn't cut your finger. Using our piercing saw, we cut our coil and make our links. Now I've separated two halves, I'm going to close one half of the links and open the other half. I'm just going to add two closed links onto my um, open link and close shut. Now by pushing the two outer links in together, I create like an eye shape right there in the center and that's what my next open link is going to go through. My next open link is going to go through that gap. Now just remember to add a closed link onto that open link before you close it. Now remember my uh, rod was four millimeters diameter so my links are quite small. If you're doing this for the first time you might want to use uh, a larger link so use a bigger rod and you end up with larger links. Once again I apologize for the camera angle it is difficult to record and I just repeat the same process. This is what we have so far. We're just going to carry on repeating the process. And in case you missed it, our open link is going to go through that gap. And then we add another small uh, closed link. Uh, you might want to be careful, you might make this mistake as I did. I've got four links going one way, four links going the other way. So I had to undo that and start over. Now to clean up what I'm left with, I just want to heat it up, put it in my uh, pickle just to clean it up and put it in the barrel so it's easier to see when I'm soldering it.
Once I've left it in the acid for a few minutes, I just rinse it with some water. So I've just taken it out of the barrel so it's nice and clean. Now I want to turn all my links so all the joints are facing the top, ready for soldering. For soldering I just want to heat it up and add some flux. Now I'm going to solder from one end all the way across. Once I reached the end, I added a lock and just barreled it again, gave it a little polish and here's the finish. So that's it for this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.